Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome back to the channel. Today's HomeKit quick tip is a follow up to a previous video that I did about how to set up activity zones. If you haven't seen that video, click the link in the pop out banner now. In that video, I received some comments from some people who couldn't get the feature working. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you three tips you can use to troubleshoot activity zones for yourself. Number one, software not up to date. For activity zones to work, you need to ensure your home hub is running TV OS 14 for Apple TV or iPad OS 14 for an iPad if you're using that as your home hub. But if your only home hub device is a HomePod, unfortunately, as of recording this video, you're out of luck, at least until Apple releases an update to support activity zones on this device. Once you have ensured your home hub is up to date, make sure your iPhone or iPad you are using to set up the zones is also on iOS 14 and you should be good to go. Number two, specific motion is detected. In your HomeKit camera settings, there are two options to tell the camera when to record. When any motion is detected and when specific motion is detected. For activity zones to work, you need to ensure specific motion is detected is enabled. This also gives you the option to ignore people, animals or vehicles in your recordings if you like. Once you toggle specific motion, the option to set activity zones should then appear. Number three, insufficient iCloud account. Activity zones work specifically for recording footage. This means you need at least a 200 gigabyte iCloud account for one camera and a two terabyte iCloud account for up to five cameras to see the option for activity zones. If you have a 200 gigabyte account, but more than one camera, you'll have the option for setting the zones on only one of your cameras. The rest can then only be used to view live footage and for motion based automations. If you've tried these tips but still can't get activity zones working in your smart home, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. If you found this video helpful, I'd love if you could give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more HomeKit tips and tricks to come.